Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt, and this is my wife Samantha. Hello! And today we are starting The Sopranos. What do you know about this? So I think this is like a mob mafia show. I'm guessing The Sopranos is like the family name. I assume it's the family name um, and I think this is considered one of the best TV shows of all time. We've watched quite a few mob gangster crime type stuff. Yes, yeah, so we watched all the Godfathers. We've watched Casino, Goodfellas, The Untouchables. Might be more. Yeah, there's probably more that we're forgetting about, but we definitely like this genre or this type of content. I think the crime stories are my favorite. Yeah. Um, I love kind of playing detective. I don't think that's exactly what this is going to be like. Still kind of crimey. Yeah. <laughs> we won't be playing detective. We'll be playing crime. Yeah. <laughs> I am super excited to start this. This is definitely the longest show we've ever committed to. Mm -hmm. So we will kind of do it a little differently. We'll try to do a season at a time and it will kind of fit around other shows that we may have on the schedule that are more specific to the time or more current or something. So we likely won't do all, I think eight seasons or something in a row. Yeah, I think it's a lot. It's a lot and each episode is very long, uh, but we will be doing two episodes per reaction. So it'll be filling in places throughout our schedule. Yeah, so we'll see, or we get totally Hooked. engulfed <laughs> and addicted to it and we have to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think we're going to see a lot of familiar faces yep. from all of those crime mob movies that we've watched, at least from what we've seen in the comments. So I'm really excited to get started on this. Me too. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction to this as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Instagram, Twitch, or Twitter, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episodes. I like the intro music. Kind of like gritty. Yeah. I wonder what year this came out. Yeah, I don't know how old The Sopranos is. Mr. Soprano? <clears throat> yeah. Is this a, like a therapist? therapist? Yeah. Have a seat. All right, what an interesting start. Mobster with a therapist. You collapsed. Possibly a panic attack? Oh. They said it was a panic attack. Okay. <sighs> but he does not want to be here. Any thoughts at all on why you blacked out? Stress, maybe. About what? <laughs> they had their standards, they had pride. Today, what do we got? Y2K? Is that what it was? So is this the 90s? Two wild ducks landed in my pool. It was amazing. <laughs> they had some ducklings. Got some duck friends? Oh, he made a ramp? Happy birthday, handsome. 13. Yeah, he doesn't act it. Some pretty young kids. How do you stay so skinny, Mrs. Soprano? Stress. Him with those ducks. <laughs> National Geographic. Yeah, right. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks, Dad. Unfazed. All right. This isn't going to work. I can't talk about my personal life. <laughs> about the day you collapsed. Needs a cover story. Bear in mind, this is a kid who just bought himself a $60,000 Lexus. Oh. Fancy. This issue of an outstanding loan. Can I stop you for a second? Outstanding loan, huh? But there are a few ethical ground rules. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were in waste management. I don't know what happened with this fellow. I'm, I'm just saying. What are you saying? We had coffee. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Just out in public? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Oh. Man, he's reckless. Oh! <laughs> oh shit. Bolt's oh, coming see. through! Let me see. Let me see. Ah! Oh! Where's my fucking money? <laughs> So you had coffee. How, how do you get away with this? That's get three thousand dollars here. here. Brand new car. <laughs> Go ahead, hit him. I'm nothing. Damn. Lying about HMO, huh? You're covered. <laughs> if he could tell the commie bosses to go fuck themselves, he could fucking tell us. Oh. Garbage business. Yeah, I know. It's all changing. Can't feel it since we down here for the gabagoo. <laughs> gabagoo. I can't go into details on this one. That's fine. 
He's gonna do what your friend already booked for his restaurant. He's gonna try to kill someone at his restaurant or his friend's restaurant. Oh, the party. How's your rash? It's it. <laughs> Never be a varsity athlete, and frankly, that was a tremendous blow to my self esteem. Man, so people don't really take him too seriously. Yeah, it's me. Open the door. Jeez, Ma, get some air in here. Did you lock the door after you? Yeah, I did. You <laughs> but not answering the phone after dark? No, listen, tell me, he knows everything. <laughs> Still see his mother. He calls her every day. What a good son. All the old stuff's being reissued on CD. All your old favorites. Come on. Come on. So sweet. It's a retirement community. You an active senior your own age. <laughs> Daughters are better at taking care of their mothers than sons. Bought CDs for a broken record. Damn. Run off. And that night was my son's birthday party. Man, he gets it from everyone. She's not coming. But your mother is tougher than you think. So what, no fucking ZD now? <laughs> More concerned about the food. Man, if anything happens to these ducks, he's going to lose it. <laughs> Maybe that's why he blacked out. Aww. They're flying. Oh, but that means they left him. Ginger ale in my skull. Oh, shit. The ducks really did do it. Get back. Whoa. The one good thing he had left him and he blacked out. Dr. Cosimano put me in the hospital. Gave me every kind of test. MRIs are terrifying. Yeah. Father is a spiritual mentor. He's helping me to be a better Catholic. You're going to hell when you die. Holy crap. This is uh, not a good marriage. No. Came to this country when I was nine. Where's his stuff? Yes, yes. I don't like this meat tenderizer just chilling there. Taste the wares, email. Oh. Oh, God. Wasn't much of a conversation. Yeah. Is that what he was supposed to be doing? Like taking know. care of? I don't know. You kill him someplace else. You may run North Jersey, but you don't run your Uncle Junior. Man, these old guys. My wife and my daughter were not getting along. Darn, these laser discs are incredible. Oh, uh, feel the dreams. <laughs> Where does Tony rank good fellows? Somebody's jimmying a window. What? Uh, oh no. Whoa! <laughs> With an AK? But Patrick Swimmy is tomorrow and he needed me. What? You're not going to Aspen with Hunter Scangarello. That's where you're not going. Ruined her whole vacation. I had a semester and a half of college, so I understand Freud. Could I be happier? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel depressed? Probably. Since the ducks left. Let's talk about them. He did pretty good for his first day. Yeah, that was a lot of progress on day one. Hold on. You gonna get that? No. <laughs> he never comes home. They know, but they don't know. Maybe he'll turn up. No body? Yeah, get rid of the body permanently. Not just put it in a trash can. Oh. Oh my God. So that was after the first therapy session? Yeah. Oh, she's part of that generation that grew up during the depression. There's that D word again. Now that my father's dead, he's a saint. When he was alive, mm. nothing. Makes sense. I'm not getting any satisfaction from my work either. I'm because of Rico. You see your brother? The Rico statutes. Oh, of course. You know, to squeeze my business. <laughs> your waste management business? With feelings of exhaustion and depression. Here comes the Prozac. The man does not have the money. We ran the man over with the car. This guy's gonna get killed if he doesn't pay up. A little pussy. Yeah, little pussy. You think he's gonna fuck with big pussy? My pussy? <laughs> Who are we talking about? <laughs> Start paying out. Phony claims the fake clinics we set up. 250 grand he owes him, which we know he cannot do. 250,000? Damn. Could be as good as garbage. Hey, garbage is our bread and butter. Was. Trying to change the game up a little bit. It's our little tradition. I felt it was dumb since I was eight. I just go because you like it. Crowder again. You can't just lie and cheat and break the rules you don't like. Teenagers. Caribbean, 11th to the 29th. When's the last time you got away? Took a little vacation. Anthony. Oh, it's working. Hopefully they shut completely. Right. If I got to stick my hand up the ass of one more lobster without taking a break, I'm going to go postal. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore, please. Oh, 
Oh, I thought there was a dead person on the dead. table. <laughs> Tony is a labor leader. Arthur, please, grow up. Somebody donated their kneecaps for those tickets. <laughs> <laughs> the paperwork will look just like the real. Well, how do I not get caught? You're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. I'm so fucking depressed, I can't eat, sleep. Oh. Uh, why are you here, dude? Uh, I never meant to denigrate Tony Soprano. Dude, you're about to be tangled over. Oh, and you're alone. What what you were saying before, you know, the, with the MRI. That's the right answer. Yeah, just the threat of the bridge was enough. I feel right. Ooh, Artie, you're fucking this up. We discussed this. You gotta leave town. I'm sorry. You just pay him to close the restaurant? Yeah, right? Just cover the cost to close the restaurant. Is that good? Good to see you. How you doing? Hey, senor. Who's Soprano with? You come here? <laughs> Those decorated tips you gave me. They really work. Good. How you doing? <laughs> Do you know who that was? Is he a patient? You know I can't say. Oh, did you get them a table? Right. Niels, shut the fuck up. <laughs> They're setting up your table right now. Who's she? She's from something. Really? Yeah. It pays to have friends like Soprano. Miles, we don't see you. Where have you been? Life is good. Life is often good. Because of the Prozac? You've been in good spirits the last couple days. <laughs> Some I gotta confess. Getting my wine in position to throw in your damn face. <laughs> Go ahead and confess already, please. Get it over with. I'm on Prozac. I've been seeing a therapist. I think that's great. <laughs> Psychology doesn't address a soul. That's something else. But the soul? Person on this planet that I'm completely and totally honest with. Oh, please. <laughs> the wrong person finds out about this and I get a steel jacket and after the person right in the back of the head. Jeez. My own daughter hates me. She doesn't hate you, Carl. What's the matter? No social life? Blow me. <laughs> hey. Of just got back in town. So it's gonna go down soon. How are they gonna kill him if he does it look Custody? like he's yeah, it looks like he's locked up. Mom didn't come. Didn't think you wanted her to. I mean my ass spin trip. What is she thinking, Dad? <laughs> just a different dad. What do you guys want? Perfection? Your great grandfather. He built this place. Oh, Whoa. Wow. They didn't design it, but they knew how to build it. It's a nice little moment. That's the solution? Blow up the restaurant? I guess it's better than a murder. You said you're thinking clearer? Prozac takes several weeks to build up effective levels in the blood. What? Hope comes in many forms. Well, who's got time for that? <laughs> I had a dream last night. My penis falls off. <laughs> what a dream. You know, I'm holding it up, and this bird swoops down. Oh, no. And flies off with it. Not the birds. What kind of bird? Seagull or something. Or a duck. What else is a water bird? Pelican. <laughs> what about ducks? It's goddamn ducks. It's always with me. He's having some major breakthroughs with his therapist. Collect the insurance, that's all. It could have been worse. Yeah. How could yeah. it have been worse? Someone could have got killed in your restaurant. You know what I'm figuring out lately? Talking helps. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Hope comes in many forms. Absolutely. What a nice, sensitive group of monsters. Way to go, Chris, on the Triborough Towers contract would have been nice. We're killing that guy? Yeah, I don't... How many monsters are selling screenplays and screwing everything up? We got work to do. Look, it's a beautiful day. What could be bad? Ooh, he's a little bit of a hothead. I feel like he's not surrounded by the most loyal. <laughs> Why don't you take a larger hand in things? Something may have to be done, Olivia. I don't like this. Is he conspiring against Tony? I think so, but... To Tony's mom? Yeah, I doubt she's gonna let that happen. The duck's gonna come back? The beast in me. Oh. <laughs> okay, I did see a comment that the pilot was made long before the second episode and things are gonna substantially change from this point. Really? So we might get confused. Oh, okay. A disregard within the mod itself of the rules. It seems like a lot of the same people though, still. They pulled me back in. <laughs> huh? Zeppuccino, Zeppuccino. <laughs> Party's over. He is a wise guy. Man, so a lot of these people did start selling stories and stuff. You know, the heyday 
that's gone. And that's never coming back. I do like that line that Tony had that he felt like he was coming in at the end of the story. I went over for a blowjob. So, do you hear what I told him? I told him I went over for a blowjob. <laughs> And the bomb market says you're at the Eiffel Tower. The joke was so good, you had to say it twice. That's when I thought I was out. Pull me back in. The multiple jokes. DVD plays in back. Don't hurt me, man. You want to be scathed? Yeah, so it looks like I didn't give up without a struggle. Wow. Oh, oh that's cool. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, come on, man. Scathed. 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 Man, just stealing... DVD players and stuff? Maybe you could help find it. I thought I told you I changed my name from Lojack to Anthony Soprano. <laughs> what are you getting in science? D plus. See what I can do. Shed a pill. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> what a life. The voicemail only comes on if you let the phone ring. Jesus Christ, George. Yeah. Struggling. <laughs> I get it. Office phones are pretty confusing. My attorney told me the picture's not that different from the lazy reader, Tom. Is this really a good business model? How much money can you possibly make stealing and selling these? You press hold when you transfer a call. <laughs> I phoned your house. Some operator answered. Yeah, that's not an operator. That's an answering machine. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. Pay attention to your cooking. Yeah, you're cooking. Um, that might not work. Oh my god! Who is this? Oh my god. Look at how I live. Uh. Ma, hang up and call nine. Oh my gosh. Can you get over there, please? Yeah, I'm on my way. Thank you, baby. I know you're busy. <laughs> Doing her nails. I listen, I can't talk to you right <laughs> He's happy he did it right. <laughs> At least she's fine. Thanks, fellas. No problem. Yeah, she cannot be staying there by herself. No. I wish you would let me get somebody in here to help you. I have my ways. By setting shit on fire? This is not a nursing home. It is a retirement community. Can you just force her? <laughs> is he still having those fits? They're anxiety attacks. No, he's on medication. Oh, I don't know if you should have told her that. Yeah, she wasn't supposed to tell anyone. She's gonna go tell Junior, and then Junior's gonna go spill it to everyone. They got any uh, just coffee? Our cafe du jour is New Zealand Peaberry. What up? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but these stores are everywhere. Yeah, tell me about it. So is this a uh, spoof on Starbucks? I guess. These fucks had nothing, but this, this is the worst. <laughs> Shit. Take it easy. You definitely don't want to get her started. Not ideal candidates for parenthood. She's an old sweetie pie. She seems horrible. Everybody's skewed, though, because they said the same thing about his dad. Yeah. My father, he, he tripped and he fell down the stairs, and we were all laughing. My mother was laughing. Any other loving experience? <laughs> yeah, was that it? I'm the ungrateful fuck. Complain about her, and I let my wife exclude her from my home. What? The... Wasn't she trying to get them, get her to live there? She said that. I mean, the mom did say, I know where I'm not wanted, so... Maybe there's more to the story. Yeah. You make sure the bottom of that vase isn't wet. This lady's gonna last like one day before she's out of here. I mean, the patience of a saint. Yeah. Your uncle called here looking for you. He sounded agitated. 21 fucking years, Comley's been putting food on my table. Protection money. Hey, Chris didn't know going in. Mm. They robbed the wrong guy. I may be acting boss well. I wish somebody tell my bowels because they don't obey. <laughs> And a fucking chemo. Oh. Your mom tells me you got a girl coming in to help. Such a weird dynamic. That seemed Positive. to go pretty well. Yeah. They came to a solution, agreed, and... It's too bad they don't have a telethon for fuck face huh? Trying to kill you? <laughs> Come on, you're a good sport. Come on. You all right? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> they are not all right. Double cappuccino suprema. Is he hating it or is he addicted? Can we go find these Spice Girls already and get this over with? Takes it. That's it. Yeah, that made sense. She's horrible. I know how to talk to people. These blacks. So she's gone. God, I hate the mom. <laughs> Fifteen dollars. Hey, you got the wrong truck. That's what happened. Fifteen dollars per player. I'd assume so. You got a reputation for immaturity. And it's not going to be improved by not paying the tributes the acting boss demands of you. Open the fucking door! 
Oh. Yeah, he hates him. Yeah. All right, fuck it. But 15 grand is too much. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk to Uncle Junior personally, and maybe I can get it to around 10. How much are they selling those DVD players for? I know, for? right? You leave Conley Trucking and every other fucking item on this planet that belongs to my Uncle Junior. The fuck alone. Got it? This guy's not the greatest. It's messy. Yeah. A lot of them are so bad. What do you think his commission will be? We're lucky we net 500 bucks from the whole thing. All this for a science teacher? Oh, fuck. It's just a car. This guy's familiar, too. Yeah, he does look familiar. You see the school teacher satin around here? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Make a statement. Oh, I got fucking Johnny Cochran right here for you. They think they were the cops. <laughs> Better give that car back. Here's the fucking set. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Climbing over that fence and shagging those plates. The razor wire. <laughs> and boost another satin. Just steal a different one. Man, I hope these ducks come back for him. But she's always ready to drive those holster friends of hers around. Gives me hope. I'm gonna run someone over. Yeah, I uh like she shouldn't be driving. There's my star ledger. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my! She broke her wrist on the steering column. A minor concussion. What about the other woman? Hip. <laughs> depression can cause accidents, poor performance. So what are, what are you saying? The mom's depressed? Usually she tried to whack her best friend. It's interesting that you would even take that from what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her it's a nursing home. Well, she needs to be made to see the distinction. Maybe they should take her to a nursing home. Right? Take her to the worst place and just be like, I'll put you here. And then take her to the nice one. <laughs> Scorsese, good evening. Was that really? I don't, I don't think so, but... It was too quick. Is this where Scorsese would go? <laughs> it's Junior's own fault. He gives us no choice except to do it again. They're gonna steal from Junior again? Nobody knows who's running things anymore. Where do we go from here? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be much order. I gave it all to your cousin Josephine. What the fuck, the good jewelry? <laughs> your wife never showed any interest in my jewel. Oh my God. I got problems at work. I got problems at home. I got a friend who's been diagnosed with cancer. I'm not going to that place. This woman. Power of attorney over you and I will place you there. Thank you. <laughs> God. Guys running off, not listening to middle management. Yes. We have to stick together. Suck my dick. I'm glad he came to that realization. Yeah. Do you think he's gonna do it on his own? Maybe, but he'll probably end up getting killed. Hey, yo, we need some help over here. I'm sure they beefed up security. No props here. Increase the peace. That's our motto. Is that lunch or a gun? Control your shit, fool! Oh, that guy got hit for sure. Mm. Oh, fuck! All right, Ma, you gotta sign right here. This is so awkward. Mr. Soprano, do you have an Uncle Junior? He tracked me down here? That's how serious it is. Apparently it's urgent. She said he sounded upset. He'll call back. I'm gonna keep calling. Time and patience. Change the mulberry leaf, test so. Not impressed? Yeah, I guess not. I'm fine with the mom if she's off the show. <laughs> Junior? Yeah, did he call Junior back yet? Uh, I don't know. He caught some friendly fire or something, and uh, he's gone. I would just be honest with Junior and just give him that one guy. Just so long as you realize I had nothing to do with this, Tone. Tone, that's true. He stood Shut home. Shut up. Did you do anything to stop it? Oh, fuck. You're gonna go over to Conley's main yard and you're gonna give him back. Ah, uh, fuck. And then you're gonna call my uncle. He's wearing one. What about the dead guy? You light a candle to St. Anthony. But I think you're fucked. What if this didn't go back? Be a problem. <laughs> Might as well just grab one. I don't see you assholes putting that rack and that rack and this rack here back in the truck. <laughs> that was not all the racks. <laughs> you got the suit, man. Just when I thought I was out. <laughs> Pull me back in. <laughs> They're all picking their <laughs> their sizes. It's a different color. Oh. Oh. And my dad's a hero. Oh, they just painted it. I'm hoping <laughs> that's paint. I think I think it's red paint. Sad is good. Unconscious isn't. Yeah. 
own the anger. It needs to be acknowledged. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Hate your mother. I hate your mom. Oh, what do you call it? The menu. Voicemail? Oh. I don't know if that was a healthy way to acknowledge your anger. All right, that was episode one and two of The Sopranos. What'd you think? That was really good. Yeah, definitely a different spin on like the crime mobster mafia story. Yeah, very dialogue driven, but we had some brutal moments in the first two episodes. Yeah, definitely heavy on the dialogue, but like you said, the brutal aspect, I mean, I guess the first kill was the guy in like the meat locker or something like that, getting shot in the back of the head. Yeah, that was rough. And I feel like it's probably just the beginning. We're gonna have a lot of death. Right. There's a ton going on with the family dynamic, whether it be the family, as in Tony Soprano's like immediate family, with his mom, his wife, his kids. Right. Or the family business. The family business, yeah. <laughs> um, with his uncle, his nephew, everything going on there. So it's just two different dynamics happening that all kind of collide with Tony Soprano. It's a lot of garbage. Like I actually feel bad for Tony Soprano. He's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a criminal, but uh, his marriage is rough. His kids are a little spoiled, it kind of seems like. Obviously, the business aspect is just in shambles. There's like no real powerful leadership or respect. There's people just doing their own stuff. His mom makes me want to pull my hair out. Uh, <laughs> you hate her. I hate her. I, there's just so much going wrong in his life. So that's the most interesting aspect for the show for me is him trying to process all of this with his therapist. Yes, that's a highlight on the show so far for me is the relationship with the therapist or psychiatrist. She might be a psychiatrist. I don't know. But she's super blunt. Yeah. And she tells him exactly how it is when he starts trying to sugarcoat things like with his mom or thinking that the Prozac was working so quickly. Like she was very quick to say, nope, that's not what that is. She does a great job of getting quite a bit out of him. I think yeah. that it would be like a slow burn. Nope. But I mean, he's already to the point where he's like crying in her office. Yeah, every session, uh, he's getting a lot out of it. I hope that's something that continues. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if it'll be every single season or if that'll just be like a thread in this season, but it's just really interesting. I mean, you look at like the criminal life and it's typically always focused on criminal activity or getting stabbed in the back or whatever. But this, it's looking at it as it is a stressful job that is hard to balance, like a work-life balance between raising your family and running a criminal organization is stressful, time-consuming, and it leads to him just having panic attacks and blacking out. It's a very interesting dynamic. We haven't really seen anything like this in the crime mafia mob yeah. stuff that we've watched so far, but it is very interesting. It makes it feel like more real, obviously, I don't know what real life is like <laughs> what, for <real> criminal life. <laughs> yeah, for the criminals, but um, obviously in the movies, it's just like so extravagant and everything's like such a big deal. Whereas this, there's people within the organization that are gonna screw up and is that gonna cause them death? Like, no, sometimes they talk it out and they're like, hey, you better pay me. Right. So and I really like the characters so far. Obviously there's some people that we don't like. I'm not a fan of his mom either. And people within the organization that you don't like and they just seem so incapable of doing anything. Yeah, I mean the guys who went to go get the Saturn, they got a Saturn that was painted to look like a, the actual Saturn, so. Yeah, I mean it looks like they got the Saturn. It was just too late. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's not necessarily like a bad thing, but clearly they didn't like fully get the job done or when they tried to get the restaurant guy out and they couldn't, so their solution was like, uh, let's just blow the place up. The main kind of screw up I think is his nephew. It's gonna be a while before I get all the names, so yeah. I don't really remember his name, but he definitely seemed like the hothead uh, young kid in the crew. I liked his pretty quick change to be like, hey, maybe the reason things suck is because we're making it suck by just being chaotic. Yes, really liked that. And I'm bummed that he still got like roped into it because his friend sucked. Yeah. But he had like that epiphany and hopefully more people 
get to that point so Tony can take a more of a leadership role and maybe get some better respect. Yeah, I mean, the show starts off with they mess up quite a bit. Things are not very functional. I assume maybe as the show goes on, he will gain more respect. He's also not very treated very well by a lot of other people's opinions. Even like the first guy they beat up, they were beating it up because he was like, Tony Soprano, who cares about that guy? So hopefully he gets more control, more respect, better guys, better organization or something because the show starts off with a stuff in a relatively bad spot. I mean, I really like that line where Tony's like, I feel like I came in at the end. It does feel like the end. I mean, the glory days of the mafia are over. Right, you have all of these guys that were big or had all the secrets and everything. They're at the point in their lives where they're writing novels and probably funding movies yeah. and whatever stuff. They're telling their stories, so it's like... Or these older guys who used to run everything and they can barely drive cars around anymore and stuff. So right. it's like stuff is on the way out. Yeah, so they're still trying to hold on to that. And I hope with the help of his psychiatrist, Tony can like get his shit together and really take better control of the situation. Cause I think that he deserves the respect, but and we'll see. Yeah, he's gotta earn it. Yeah. But going back to what you said about like, liking the family, I think that's another highlight is that uh, a lot of the times you just focus on maybe the main bad guys or something. Whereas we spend a good amount of time with the family and family storylines, it makes it feel so much more personal and real. These people would have families. Mm -hmm. How would a criminal respond to his son's science teacher getting his car stolen? And they'd be like, what grade do you have? D plus? All right, I think we could do something about that. Like, <laughs> it does seem pretty realistic. And just to kind of see him like a father-husband figure. Yeah. Obviously he's kind of sleazy. He was cheating on his wife. I mean, is the wife cheating with that father guy too, or is that? I think maybe like emotionally so. <laughs> Obviously he's a priest. <laughs> Yeah. So I would assume not. <laughs> and then it all just coming down to like the ducks starting this off. I think that was really sweet too. Yeah. Again, it really is bringing these mobster guys onto just a different level. You had that moment where it's like he was so emotionally invested in these birds because they were probably just simple. They were a family. Everything was peaceful. It just was so pleasant for him when everything else in his life sucks. Uh, so for him to lose that and that be the catalyst for him having these attacks, that's just an angle that you don't see hardly ever in these crime shows or movies. Yeah, I feel it. And I mean, even like uh, when they're trying to comfort the uh, restaurant guy and they're around the barbecue and they're all like, yeah, talking helps. And they're like, yeah, that's a good idea. We should talk to each other and open up and stuff. Yeah, I think we're probably going to see things take a turn um, over the next six seasons, however many seasons. I could see this getting pretty brutal and violent, especially if he's able to rise up the ranks or gain a little bit more control of what's actually going on. Yeah, but I think that this is a good start. I think they're really solidifying the characters, especially Tony Soprano. Yes. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the first two episodes and I'm excited to get into the next episodes. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a show where I don't really know where they're gonna go next. Uh, every episode seems relatively encapsulated. The episodes don't necessarily end so far on like big cliffhangers or anything. For me, I could see anything in the next episode. Yeah, I'm excited to just watch these relationships grow or crack. <laughs> yeah, so if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.